Okay, so for some examples, we might need a little formula. And there's a formula that says if you're traveling, the rate that you travel at times how long you travel is equal to the distance you travel. So we say rate times time equals distance. So say you're traveling 60 miles an hour for five hours, then you're going 300 miles. Okay, that's the idea. Rate time, rate times time equals distance. Okay, so that sets us up to do this problem. It says Andrew, ta Andrew it takes Andrew 30 minutes to drive to work in the morning. Uh, he drives home using the same route, but it takes 10 minutes longer, and he averages 10 miles an hour less than in the morning. This miles per hour has to do with rate, okay? So just keep that in mind. This has to do with time, right? This has to do with time. Okay, so we have two situations. We have the morning when he's going to work, a.m., and then the p.m. when he's coming home from work. Now, uh, it's the same route. So the two distances, the distance he drives in the morning has to equal the distance he drives at night. Okay. Now, I want to know the rate and time for the morning. I'll put a little, a little A here. <laughs> and I want to, for AM, and I want to know the rate and the time the, in the evening, right? Okay, so that's kind of the idea. That might be confusing if, if you do that, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with it. I'll go write someplace else. Okay, I know this. 30 minutes in the morning. So I know this is 30 minutes. Got it. Okay. Now, <laughs> my time here, that 10 miles per hour, but my minutes is 30 minutes. Hmm. So I can't have minutes and hours, so I probably should go with hours. 30 minutes is half an hour, right? 30 out of 60. We'll make it one half. Now, do I know how fast he goes in the morning? I don't. I'm going to let that be R for now. I'll just leave it like that. Okay, now let's go to the ride home. It takes him 10 minutes longer. So if it took him 30 minutes to go, that means it's taking him 40 minutes on the way home. Probably more traffic. Okay, so I've got some time there. And I can reduce that fraction to two-thirds. Okay. What do I know about the rate, though? I know he goes 10 miles an hour less than in the morning. So he is going slower. Okay. That's an equation. Now, you might not like the way I did it, and you might have a better way of setting it up, but that's just how I did it. I just kind of talked through it, and I used some symbols to try to figure out what I'm talking about. Okay. You could draw a picture of a car. That might help. Um, okay. But here we go. This is what I've got. All right. So now I just have an equation. I have to solve this. I'm going to distribute the two-thirds. I'm not a big fan of having all those fractions, so I'm just going to multiply everything by the LCD, which is 6. And that's going to give me 3R equals 4R minus 40. And hopefully that makes some sense. Now this is one of those times where we don't want to get a negative number for the rate. He's not going backwards. That'd be a problem. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and subtract 4R from both sides. And I get negative R equals negative 40. Divide both sides by negative 1. And so I get R equals 40. So what does that mean, r equals 40? Well, r represented what? It was right here, the time that it takes them to go to work. So in the morning, or not the time, his rate. In the morning, he's going 40 miles an hour. Miles per hour. Um, what else do I want to know? How far does Andrew drive to work? Oh, they don't even want to know how fast he's going. I'm just telling you that it was 40 miles an hour. <laughs> okay. But we want to figure out the distance, how far. Well, rate times time equals distance. 
So the rate is 40 miles an hour. The time was half an hour, 30 minutes, to go into work. Um, and so that was 20 miles. Okay, so I'm going to say that's how much the distance is. Now you might be saying, well, why didn't you use the other side of the equation like is on the way home? Well, remember, we can check it that way because the distance has to be the same. So if he traveled um, 10 miles an hour less, he'd be going 30 miles an hour. So this would be the evening ride home. 30 miles an hour, and he goes for two-thirds of an hour, 40 minutes. Yep, that equals 20. So it all checks. I'm just checking it. The question was, how far? And that's one thing you want to do is you want to make sure you answer the question. And so the, the question wasn't, how fast is he going? That's what we figured out. He's going 40 miles an hour in the morning. The question was, how far is it to work? 20 miles. Okay, so that one, a little more involved. 